Yo, what's up everyone? Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a whole compilation of destroying purely because there's no point. Like this, I have too many negates. I have small tips. But if you do it perfectly, it's another way to stop purely. Because uh, purely is overrated. But hey, don't get me wrong. It's a good deck. It's a good deck, but is it as good as Pendulum? Absolutely not. You're gonna notice we switched up our deck slightly. We added Cold by because you, you gotta adapt to every format. And Droll, I don't think Droll's great against purely. I don't think it's amazing. But so, a lot of people are playing Droll now, which uh, hard counters us. You're going to notice now, yes, we are playing Sky Strikers. Yes, look at Engage. It's literally the best card in this whole deck. Yes. Now, don't worry. I will show you guys the deck list at the end of the video. But the deck list will only be shown if you watch all the duels. Because Purely is the most played deck right now. So not only is this if you're playing Endymion, if you're playing Pendulum, but this is if you're playing Purely. If you're playing Master Duel at all, you should watch this whole video because you're going to see specifically how to obliterate this deck. And if you know nothing about Purely, don't worry. I will explain specifically what they do in this duel up here. There's going to be a few duels that come up, so make sure to pay close attention. Here, like this deck, this, this is just insane. It doesn't matter what he has. He could have Droll, he could have Maxi, he's cooked. It's a cool thing about Call by the Grave. Call by the Grave isn't the best in Pendulum because it doesn't help you combo, but with cards like Droll in the format and Maxi, it is kind of mandatory. More so with Droll. We thought about playing Call by with Maxi, but with Droll, it's more of, of an issue. Or Droll is like, it's shifter for tier limit. I would much rather get Maxi and Ash Blossom than get hit with Droll, because Droll, you just pass. Uh, here, we just do classic Pendulum plays, where we added Mask Rain into the deck as well to play around Maxi better. So you're going to witness this deck is just insane. We didn't even Pen Summon yet. We didn't even Pen Summon. So we're going to put Celine here. I'm going to go into the Mask Rain before my Pen Summon, just to have as many negates as possible. I have a full board. I later call by N Talents. If he has Nibiru, we negate it with Jack and Apoloza. And we might as well put up a Mighty Master for free as well. I had an option to Vortex if I wanted. There's a cool play where you can go Absolute and Mascarena. And then when you Mascarena on his turn, link the Vortex Dragon. There's like the Absolute Dragon and the Vortex will bounce. But then you're susceptible to Spell and Trap interruptions right away. So I opted not to. We set two. We have Called By. This is seven negates. Two Apo, Mascarena, Jackal, Mighty Master, Mighty Master, Called By. That's seven. And the Apoloza will get all of its effects because if they just weren't there about to have too many monsters on board, Masquerina could get rid of it. Uh, so they'll resolve both. So here, we're facing purely. He Prosperity for three. Typically, you want to do it for six. But I don't want to risk him having a Dark Ruler or something. So I just negate it. I have plenty of negates. And just in case he has three cards, this is for everyone. Keep in mind, if he has like three Lightning Storm, there's a cool play you could do with Masquerina here. Masquerina is going to go into Underworld Goddess. That's the main reason it's here right now. However, if he goes like Lightning Storm or Evenly or something, that tells me he plays a deck with a lot of spells and traps. I will instantly, like once I bounce his Mighty Master back to my hand, I will use the Mascarena, the Appaloosa, and the Servant to Selene to special the Mighty Master from my hand. So it gives me a free spell trap to gate. I'm going to see what he plays here. He's playing purely. I'm going to give you guys a quick lesson. This is for every player on how to play purely on what you need to know about purely. This is for all the noobs uh, and just new players, whatever. Noob is not a correct word. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Skill Deficiented. Is that... Is that a more nicer word? Okay, so this is what they do. The whole point of each of the quick play spells is that they're all E-Tellies. They're emergency teleports. Special the purely cats. This is important, okay? So they special the purely cats, but they also have hidden effects. Don't worry about the hidden effect. You learn it later on. It's a little too complicated if you're new. Stuff like protect one card from being destroyed until the end of the turn. That's very irrelevant. The main reason it's there is to special the purely and each of them rank up to an XYZ purely. Now, when they rank up to the XYZ purely, this is how they rank up. Look at the name. Happy only ranks up to happiness. Sleepy cannot rank up to sleep to happiness. Look at the names and they rank up specifically by the name. So plump, sorry, that's the, so plump can only get ranked up by delicious because it's this similar name. Uh, then the other one is pretty. Pretty can only rank up, rank up into beauty. So that's how you don't get confused. Also master duel, you could see that there's no other option to do that, but they can only rank up to the specific name similar to itself and they actually there's some lore behind this deck that not many people know konami told me about it actually uh my cousin that works there so they actually released purely happy memory specifically for the happy pendulum players and they released purely the pretty and beauty for the beautiful endemian players look at this luscious beard and they actually specifically released delicious and plump for the fatty flunder noobs that that way all three people of Yu-Gi-Oh can be happy so all that's an easy way to look at it but also look at it from the opposite spectrum. The best card by far is Plump, Delicious. That's the best one you have to look out for because Delicious will kind of get all of them because the Plump's effect then rank up from the e spells and traps from each grave, which then can rank up with all three and then go into the Big Noir. So that's about it. That's about what they do. That's a quick little background on, on, on for all new Master Duel players. I'm going to release a video specifically on what they do for all new players to kind of catch on. And I'm just going to Underworld Goddess that because there's no point. Uh, like this, I have too many negates. I literally had an Apollosa Mighty Master on Called By. 
for free. It's gonna be the second replay, and it's just gonna be straight up clapping the cheeks of Purely. Bad cat! Get out of here! Bad cat! This is the only time when cats are bad, when you're playing Purely. Uh, no, don't say bad cat to any cat, by the way. Only say good cat, because all cats are good. Except for these fucking cats! You're a bad cat, Purely! It's the only way that cats are bad. By the way, I like to put out that I have a, a cat myself. It's the most beautiful cat. Her name is Mia. You guys want to know where Mia originated from the name? If you look at the name of what I'm playing, Endymion, it's a, it's a lady cat. So what's the female version of Endymion? Endymia. And what's short? Mia. So that's how I got my cat's name to be Mia. It's named after Endymion, but the female version of it. All right. Now we're going to go into Pure Lily, where a little thing you want to know for each of these is... Uh, the pure lily is once per turn it's also the best one Pure Lily is not once per turn but it's not guaranteed it's kind of like a pot of duality essentially where you pick one of the three and now you go you purely happiness he doesn't really know what he's doing an issue with master duel is that purely players are shit uh master duel players are shit there to go back to the word we coined they are Yu-Gi-Oh skill deficient slash uh to be nicer uh suck ass at this game so what we're going to do now is deal with the most broken hand in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where we have... All we're missing is literally an engage to be like the six greatest cards. Like you... This is basically just the six best cards you could possibly ask for in this deck. Where if they don't have Droll, they're getting absolutely obliterated. So so just watch. Don't do what he did. So this... I got to do some comment tutorials for you guys. This is not a comment tutorial. This is zero interruptions. Happiness is great going second. Because happiness going second could attack five times and get like a six material, seven material Zeus, no problem. But or a seven material, more importantly, seven material uh uh noir. But going first, it does nothing. It's important to note as well, a lot of new players will mistake this. My friend Purely is amazing to keep on field because whenever X purely happy er, er, purely happiness goes to the grave, this will be able to get three qu uh, purely quick play spells to its hand. So make sure when you're going second against this deck, this also floats the field spell. Get rid of the two spells first and then destroy the XYZ. Never destroy the XYZ first. I'm going to do a specific video teaching these tips for all new players that either play purely or play against it. There's so many small tips that if you do it perfectly, you'll destroy them. Now we're going to go to the next tool. It's just going to be clap after clap after clap. I, purely is too easy to defeat. Let's go. What's up, YouTube? We're back. This one is actually going to be a live replay. I want to see a little different how you guys like the live replays versus the the ones that are replays after that i just commented over and we're playing purely again this is all unranked uh in between the last purely ranked duels we faced a valence player uh which he had three hand traps and we won or two hand traps and we talents the third card in his hand and had full five six negates he just scooped and then the next duel was against labyrinth uh we he just scooped we had everything like the destruction and now we're playing purely again and i'm not going to discuss what each of them do uh, until it gets to the point where i need to interact with something if you guys want to see exact like two like for all new players specifically detailed what each and every single purely card does let me know in the comments because i would actually love to do that where i have a huge knowledge of purely i play in tcg as well i could explain to you guys very specifically what are all the specific choke points what specifically does each card do what are all the little tricks of this deck i'll happily do a whole video based on that uh, that that video would take like 10 15 minutes of just detailed explanations so I'd rather not do detailed explanations for this video in the first replay i explained uh very vividly what they do how which but like just a basic understanding of the decks uh without baby noir it's tough for this deck to put up a real interruption uh like, like real interruptions uh but luckily i linked the tcg delicious memory is at uh three so because it's at three they are much more easily able to go into uh the five material uh big noir um how do i say this politely um not that it fucking matters <laughs> uh, if you build your deck correctly uh you should be able to beat this this is a card that a lot of them are going to do it's good that he puts this in attack position a lot of people put this in defense simply because it's a thousand but it's it's better to be at a thousand versus zero like what if i had a purely card of my own i could just enter battle and destroy it uh so at plump uh, this is most likely the trap card. So this will be able to go into a five material. This is actually the best combo that this deck puts up. So I'm very happy to show you guys this, especially live. My hand is not good. It is not good. Double talents is not good. We have no servant. We have no doctor. We have no engage. We have no uh, desires. Uh, no mastery. Uh, not to, not enough draw cards. Only one at the moment. So we'll see how, how it does. Uh, I still think firm. Like I know firmly we're going to be fine. So th what, what this card does, just so you guys are aware, it says if your opponent special summons a monster, you could detach uh, material from that, from this card, and then essentially bounce it. Plump, uh, very good card here. Uh, it's going to be actually more than five materials. It's going to be quite big. It says uh, up to thrice. Yeah, yeah. so it's going to... This is five. He didn't activate a trap card. 
this tells me whoa he actually did not hard draw the trap this is an issue of playing the deck without the baby noir where you could search the trap that ranks up to the big noir but now he has four cards in hand i will i don't think i cannot play around droll here unless i look into his hand with talent so if i go curtain razor this is probably imprimer called by uh, i'm gonna go with called by i'm gonna think it's called by so i'm gonna scale curtain razor i'm gonna use its effect force him to bounce this i could then use talents to look into his hand to get rid of a potential droll but then i have only curtain razor i have souls okay i'm gonna do that i'm gonna bait him i could literally just normal summon this after and attack and then i'm gonna do souls and then enter main phase two this doesn't float into anything because he's not playing other lira lusks be careful when playing stuff like this it says up to twice per turn you activate could play you could attach that card to this then you can banish one monster on the field i have to be careful if this is something specific i'm gonna activate this he's gonna be forced now to bounce it i'm pretty sure he's gonna bounce it i would bounce it for sure because this could kind of get multiple value he doesn't know I have a talent. This is actually, and I, this is a complete bait. The only card, like, this is a bad hand. This is a bad hand. But I believe in my deck. And I believe in the draws that upstart and into the void and souls can get me. So I could look into his hand. Before I look into his hand, oh, wait, no, we had to do it now in case there's draw. And I could upstart into a servant or abductor or master. There's nine of them or engage or desires. There's so many good ones. I will look into his hand here. Not to look out that this one also might be able to be a banished as well. So look into the hand. Can we play around Droll the most insane way possible? It would be insane. There's a Droll there. I'm literally, I'm insane. I'm, I'm, I'm him. I'm Goku. I'm Goku, Vegeta, Gohan combined in one. If this, if there's a Droll in his hand. <laughs> that was fucking close. He drew into Pure Leap from the draws. We we're definitely getting the talents. All right. So was that a good talent for us? No. But at least we know that we don't deal with uh, that droll fuckhead card so now we're gonna go into upstart uh before we go souls curtain razor i want to see what we have we still not good this is like well i don't like playing too many scales that are, don't put themselves on board we still need something else here that's just that's just not good this is just not good uh, i have to think here this is actually just not good so what i'm gonna do here i think we take the plump wait a second we put zeus in this deck for this exact moment <laughs> yo <laughs> yo so that's what we do so what we do is we go widow we take the plump we enter battle and then we zeus give exactly three spells this is exactly why we put in zeus literally for this exact moment for this exact moment i could target it because i wanted to summon this turn this is exactly specifically why we play this card and i really do think that's called by the grave it could be in perm as well if we get take control yes absolutely but it this is fine i think we have to now normal we normal summon this now change to attack enter battle and we have a decision to make yeah we'll attack the decision is if we just zeus but if we do that we're passing so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna sum, summon souls we know his hand is too brown in the trap but I'll summon this card yes let's get some plusing first i think i have a great idea if we could like if we could just mighty master this we could save a four material zeus and not waste it get rid of our curtain razor you're activating happy that's weird he will draw off brow which is cool doesn't get you anything keep in mind choose one card in the field until the end of this turn the first time it would be destroyed and not destroyed so now we have to basically destroy my friend purely twice he also gets a draw from brow uh, i hope it's not nib uh, that'll be hilarious uh so here he's gonna get this this is f still totally fine i'm, I'm cool with this uh, at least it's not like something absurd uh, okay so this is fine there's no problem let's see if something comes up let's see what he draws let's see what he searches as well all right not bad not bad at all so now he has a uh, continuous spell trap and another brow and he's gonna draw one all right so here i'm gonna use souls to draw one and then beyond the pendulum is my next play we get beyond the pendulum we get a low scale and we make Celine pop everything we can dark if we wanted if we go dark doesn't get us anything i'm going beyond the pend and we'll just save zeus there all right we get servant i'm low on time uh 95 seconds this does happen when you commentate live for videos so i'm gonna do this that's fine our only game plan is to go into Celine and mighty master everything because i have to pop this twice we're gonna have to access code actually uh we're gonna pend one wait 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 i'm gonna summon zeus now just in case he randomly has a nibiru that we're waiting for this is why we we literally play zero xyz's i will not make absolute with it like absolute into zeus will never ever come up you prefer vortex all the time but this is only because we're playing Talents and Gage and Widow in a format with Pierly and Kashdera. So this is vital. It's it's vital. It's very important. Uh, next, we're going to go into Selene. Selene will be able to trigger our uh, Mighty Master. And we'll let us summon... Uh, I think we sent the Jackal to the grave with Souls. And we're going to have plenty of spells. Yep. We sent the Jackal. Wonderful. We're going to activate. We're going to bring out Jackal. We're going to use Mighty Master now. 
Now, this is where it gets very interesting. We keep the other purely because we would basically have to waste our Selene and our Jackal to go into Axis Code. I, I do not think that's worth. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this here. We're going to pop three times. So I'll pop this. I'll pop this. And I'll pop this just to just, so I could destroy it another time I want. We do four and not destroying anything else. And he has another one of these in his hand, which is why we leave it. If I go into Axis Code, I lose Jackal. This is amazing. Good luck beating this. Good luck beating this. And just playing the Zeus is everything just playing the zeus he has all three level ones in the grave this is also massive this is also very massive this is how you oh my i'm insane <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm i'm him bro oh my goodness this was done wonderfully and we have exactly enough counters on the board as well i will strictly save mighty master for the effect of this because this is once per turn you can only use each effect this is the exact time my mighty master getting it off the board i will balance it back so i have a high scale and I could also, if he activates another spell, I could summon it back if I wanted to. I'll bounce itself back. And now if he act he will activate one of those quick play spells, putting two counters on Jack, one on Servant. Selene has two. I could freely remove three from my field to summon this back up. No! No! He drew this for turn! No! 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 Fuck! No! He won! I can't even negate my own Zeus. Why didn't I just let that go? I knew his hand. The only answer was drawing this for a turn. Oh, no. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. That was so bad. I'm actually an idiot, bro. I literally threw very hard. Oh, my goodness. We literally lose. Oh, my God. That was throw of a lifetime. Let this be a teaching lesson. I literally know his hand. Wait, I know his hand. He's passing now. So I have to draw a low scale. He has no play now. He didn't have a quick play spell. But he drew one off brow. So he has a card for turn. Unless he drew that. So he has two draws now. There's no way. One of the draws are quick play. One of the draws are talents. There's no way. That, that This does nothing. You already activated the fact. All right, we literally we need to draw a low scale. Oh my God. He literally drew it. I am bozo i am bozo that's that's my new name i'm bozo i literally could have just left it i that's the only card i lost to specifically talents that was a misplay now we definitely lose but hey you know look, that's part of the game the thing with purely is the actual effects do nothing so this is an important lesson as well that the the cats the actual effects of purely they actually do nothing the only cards you should worry about are the defensive cards and getting zeus for the board that's a great lesson right there that that hurt that would hurt my that hurt myself so now i know uh avoid that as you guys should because that was i'm definitely gonna lose this game but i i would like to have some losses in there in the video so you guys could see as well uh because look you're not gonna win them all you're gonna make some mis mistakes you're gonna make some misplays and that was the biggest misplay in the history of all time uh and this is a hard loss there's there's no answer to it uh because he has the noir this is gonna be a very massive thing even desires i, I lose so that that's actually just so you guys could see i'm not gonna count so you guys could see it but uh this is gonna have a massive noir so you guys gotta actually kind of understand how the game goes if i let the spell card go if i let him search who cares i have so many negates on board that like literally who cares anything he brings up is totally relevant so that was just a massive error on my end uh he's gonna draw six now even this is just not enough i just want you guys to see how it ranks up so if you look he has two sleepies underneath it as well as two delicious which means everything gains 300 attack with the materials and two sleepies so he's gonna be able to draw two at the standby and because he has the trap he'll also be able to draw he'll draw four and he could equip yes so look at this he's gonna draw a lot more so he's gonna draw six so just look at this so he's gonna equip two with the draw phase he's gonna draw three so this is what well, it's very easy to avoid this once you get to this point you lose purely is so powerful when it gets to this point when it draws six and then you have a, a towers it's a, almost unstoppable this is why people think purely is really good so what you have to do is basically it's easy to stop them from getting here so that's the win con stop them from getting here and it is quite easy just uh don't do what i did like look out for cards like talents look out for cards like thrust and now he's gonna draw three more and a six thousand attack unaffected by everything towers he's gonna have seven cards in hand so you could draw six with this card sleepy One, oh, three he has three sleepies underneath it and one for each monster that's game ggs i'll accept my loss where it is but we're gonna win the next ones and this will be the fourth duel just because could truly see how to destroy this deck and to be giving a lot of tips in this video is specifically this duel as well on important things you need to know about the deck a lot of cool things are going to happen in this duel so pay close attention and you're going to notice that my opponent bricked now i wanted to bring this one up because this is something that will happen on purely purely is a deck that plays 15 to 18 defensive cards there will come times where they just happen to open five defensive cards and this will be one of them news flash i'm gonna get hand trapped five times with this maxi he's gonna draw too many times my hand's absolutely busted i want you to pay close attention this is gonna be a lot of great stuff to learn about this deck specifically with purely I'm gonna kind of gonna fast forward because the main purpose of this, I want to show you guys how to destroy purely. I'm activating cards. My cards are getting hand trapped left, right, and center. I'm just gonna play so you guys can see what, exactly what I'm talking about. So uh, over here, once I summon Kagari, 
Uh, good on him to not get, hit the Kagari. There's a scenario where I could he hits the Veiler instead. He should have Imperm it. So this is actually an Imperm. He will hit the Blue Boy with it. And the Imperm stops the Abductor. That's why the Blue Boy is so massive to hit that. I'm going to keep drawing here. Uh, I'm going to recognize. Uh, I'm going to go Talents. Uh, I decide to draw Servant. And then my draws after this were absolutely abysmal. Now we're in this scenario. All right, I got hit with four hand traps. Uh, more coming because I'm sure there's more. He bricked. I'm just going to pass. I'm going to save the Widow in my hand. I don't even play Cross Sheep in this build. I just removed it for this build. Otherwise, if you got a Cross Sheep, I'll link these two offset Widow. Now I want you guys to see this. So the most beautiful thing about Purely, whether you're, whether you're playing it or defeating it, it's a one card combo deck. One and a half card combo. That's all it needs. So I just attack. I'm just going to pass. I'm going to save my hand thinking even if he outs my board, I, I, I will win because I'll Widow whatever he has and I'll just win with my hand. And what does he draw here? All the deck needs. One quick play spell that's good so delicious memory is full combo especially turn three where if you look there's imperm he could take with plump and all the spells i have so his plump is going to be like a six material big noir or zeus easily so this right here now this is an issue this is how what you're supposed to avoid with this deck i have zero interruptions against them if i simply had the cross sheep one widow could stop them but how do you defeat purely right here this exact moment you stop this there's no cards in hand this means that there is no card if they had the continuous spell they would have used it last turn these were sets from last turn there's no card no quick play spell you could have to save him right now because there's no card in hand to discard so the only thing you need to do is in this simplified game state especially when there's nothing left you stop this card even in non-simplified game states you stop this card this is the card you stop because if i in if you interrupt this now with valor imperm widow anchor whatever a monster negate if you stop this with a monster negate or your own monster negate if you're playing this deck with uh purely or the purely monster negate not only does it stop the first effect that it adds the purely continuous spell but it also stops the rank up effect it stops both so now if they were to imagine they had a card in hand if they were to summon another purely uh they cannot summon if they summon the same one they don't get a free add they'll summon another one and only get use the grave effect but now they could freely summon level one and get two effects but the only one that summons from grave is this one or ranks up from grave so that widow that widow resolved we won the game all right lesson learned there to not play so greedy next time on, on my own end but that's fine that's part of the game i, was, I did play very greedy uh, but now my opponent does need to out my board so he's gonna do a cool play here this is a, a, another trick which you guys need to know if you are left with no interruptions happiness is what to do like 7500 damage on me right now so happiness could essentially it could attack four times so you guys see this it attacks lowers by half adds another uh uh happy memory to hand and it just continues attacking you can attack four times this deck could otk very easily you need to be careful because happiness is, is very easy to hit otk this is a very damn close to an otk you can attack four times we're getting to dynamorphia numbers pretty soon i'm 63 attack blue boy and that can attack four times gives a sleeping memory at the end luckily he can't attack again i have 32 attacks but <laughs> for 32 attacks work magician prophecy he goes into zeus for six materials he has a great follow-up and he thinks that one Zeus is enough to stop Pend. I don't think he played that perfectly because this right here, I just win now. It's also why I saved the Widow. If I set the Widow, I like, yeah, I could have crossed you, but I would have been fine. But I right, just simply in this scenario, you just take it. Uh, you need cards in your deck that out four material, six material Zeus's. Cards like Imperm, cards like even Talents or Widow. Widow might not be for all decks, but any deck with a lot of spells and get double engage and Widow and Horn, it's crazy. And it has more synergy with Azalea for other decks. And if you look at this, yeah, one Widow saves it because if he Zeus and hit both of my scales, I lost. It's another way to stop Purely. Uh, one card outs, even Kaijus. Kaijus are big because it stops not just this, it's the big Purely. Zeus is not the bigger issue, it's the big Purely. If you went big Purely, uh, we're still fine because we're simply just going to draw as many, search as many times as possible and go into Underworld Goddess. And that's the video. As you guys saw through all those duels, just a bunch of duels of understanding how to defeat Purely, how to play against Purely. We should have been 4-0, but due to the misplay in the third duel, they're 3-1. Should have been 4-0 though. And by utilizing cards like having Underworld Goddess in the extra deck, just ensuring no matter what that uh, once that uh, big purely comes out, you need to have some way to out it. Ensuring to have cards such as Talents or Engage Widow, Zeus. That way I could take in simplified game states, I could take their own XYZ and slap my own Zeus on top. Cards like this make the matchup quite easy. And it's not just for Pendulum, just generically. Try and put fit Zeus in your deck. Try and take steel cards if possible. The big noir is not the biggest issue. It's not as consistent as as, as it might seem. It, it is consistent. They could put it out quite often, but without the baby noir, you can't. You don't have a searchable way to get the trap really, like a real searchable way. So it's much better off to just have cards like 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 talents or widow or engage to take their X Y Zs that aren't big noir. But you still need some way to stop the big noir which is why we are playing Underworld Goddess. I recommend you do the same, play some card like Underworld Goddess, play cards like Kaijus, 
multiple kaijus in your deck make sure there's some option it's always better to have an extra deck option because searchable or cards in the main deck like if you're gonna play kaijus play a lot of them uh but of course going first they suck so that's the downside of that uh, this is the list i think it's amazing there's basically a lot of a lot of great tips there on how to destroy that deck if you guys have any more questions let me know this is gonna be quite the long video if you guys have any questions i'd be purely comment below if you guys want more master content comment below smash the subscribe button smash the follow button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace